Uh, U.S. officials are warning agents to watch out for IEDs, improvised explosive devices. Uh, this now, according to an internal memo obtained by Fox Business, says the Mexican military seized 10 explosives at the border. The memo reads in part, quote, agents should ex exercise extreme caution and should report any possible armed subjects approaching the border with possible explosive devices. And we have uh, been talking about warnings so much on this channel over the past few weeks. But here we have another warning now going out to Border Patrol agents that they need to be on the lookout for immigrants, migrants, with explosives attached to them. And you know, a lot of people don't know this, but as you know, we started constructing a border wall, right? But there are huge gaps in this wall. And cartels in Mexico are literally at war. As we speak, they're fighting over controlling these gaps in the border wall. I know this may sound kind of crazy, but the fact that we started constructing a wall and we didn't finish, it kind of made the border more dangerous than what it was. Now, if we were to secure our border and finish building an actual wall that works, I do believe that would be a great thing. However, building portions of a wall, a wall that kind of doesn't really work already, but only building portions and leaving these huge gaps that the cartels can exploit and whoever can exploit to get people into America, drugs into America, weapons, you name it, We've created this opportunity for people to try to control these little gaps in the wall. You would think that America is in control of the southern border. You would think that there would be no need for fighting over control of the gaps in these walls because you would think that the the National Guard, the U.S. military, Border Patrol, that they would have these areas on lock and under control, but that's not the case at all. We're at a point where America is not only allowing portions of the southern border to be wide open, but we're allowing the cartels to control those gaps in the wall. We're allowing them to fight each other over control of these gaps in the wall. And with all of the threats that are going on right now, every day the FBI is warning us about an attack. Every day the Department of Homeland Security says there's going to be an attack soon. Every day they're warning this major city, that major city. But guess what? They're not doing anything to stop the threat. And that should tell you that they don't care. They'll sit here and say, hey, Oh, warning, it looks like our enemies are going to cross over the border and attack us. But hey, we're not going to do anything to stop them. No, we're not, because we don't give a damn about you. We're more concerned about replacing you with immigrants because we need a new voter base. And we know we're losing all of our voters with these shitty policies. So let's ship some people over here from Rwanda. And let's hope that they vote for us if they want the border to be open so their family can travel over here too. That's what's going on, folks. There's literally a war at our southern border and we're not involved in it. Not only are we, we're not even losing the fight, we're not even in the fight. We're allowing cartels to fight over our border, over control of of the U.S. border. How is that not crazy? But let's go ahead and roll this clip. Let's see what they're talking about on the news, and then I'll be right back with more thoughts. And border protection are warning Border Patrol agents to be on the lookout for explosive devices after the Mexican military seized 10 IEDs at the southern border. Fox Business' Hillary Vaughn breaking the news right now from Capitol Hill. Hillary. 
Good morning. Well, that's right. The um, Border Patrol agents are being warned to be on the lookout for these improvised explosive devices after the Mexican military seized 10 IEDs from the Mexico side of the U.S.-Mexico border. A federal law enforcement source shared with us the officer safety alert that went out to CBP agents this week, warning them to be careful and vigilant. The alert reads this, quote, agents should exercise extreme caution and should report any possible armed subject approaching the border with possible explosive devices. This incident happened on Wednesday. Border Patrol agents basically stumbled upon a cartel turf war gunfight near the Tres Pilates Ranch east of the Sasabe Port of Entry, which is in Pima County, Arizona. They arrested a person on the U.S. side of the border who was armed with a loaded AK-47 rifle, two loaded AK magazines, loose rounds, and a handgun. That person told them there were 11 armed suspects nearby agents heard gunfire coming from the Mexico side pulled back to a safer area. The Mexican military responded. That's when they found the 10 explosive devices filled with black powder and shrapnel. My law enforcement for source says this ranch has a gap in the border fence that is typically used in the past to funnel drugs through, but now it's a magnet for the cartel to push people through. So this gunfight was essentially a gang war trying to fight for control over this gap in the fence. My source says this gap was just a spot in the border wall that was never completed. And it also goes to show just how increasingly dangerous it is for our law enforcement agents on the border, but also how lucrative human smuggling is for the cartel, that they're willing to have these gunfights over small gaps in the fence to try to gain control and use that as a way to push their people through, their paying customers through. Maria? So, Hillary, are the cartels uh, carrying the IEDs, these explosive devices, or are they putting them on migrants who are acting as if they're, you know, escaping uh, and wanting asylum? No, this was not a situation where it was placed on a migrant. It was coming through the border. It never made it to the U.S. side. This is just something that the cartels had on hand. Uh, this was not something that was used against Border Patrol agents or used in an effort to carry the way across the border. What it does speak to is really the operation of the cartel and how valuable and the lengths they're willing to go to protect their business, which a big part of their business now is getting people through the border. So they're willing to fight to the end to control these small gaps in the fence on the border so that they are the only ones pushing people through to the U.S. side, their customers. Yeah. Maria? I personally think this is absolutely pathetic. It's pathetic. And I'm not someone that's against people coming to America to try to create a better life. But I am against having a wide open border just allowing any and everyone to pour into our country. And let's be real. Someone said it before. They're not sending their best. Gone are the days that you see women and children looking sad while they're coming across the border trying to escape from an oppressive government in another country. Now we're seeing working age men pouring over here by the hundreds, by the thousands. And to know that not only are we not defending our border, we're allowing the cartel to have literal wars over control of our border. That's embarrassing. That's absolutely embarrassing. And if you think for one second that our enemies aren't looking at this, then you're crazy. This is an easy way to exploit. This is an easy, easy way to infiltrate into America. I'm tired. I'm honestly tired about hearing of threats overseas because any threat that we're facing overseas, we're threatening, we're facing right here at home because any of our enemies overseas have the ability to send their soldiers right across the southern border. Right across the southern border. And now we know, hell, some of them are already strapped and armed to the teeth. They're strapped with IEDs. And as you heard, they're finding these cartel members on the U.S. side of the border fighting as well. It's not like they're just in Mexico fighting, no. They got people fighting on the other side. Nothing's being done about it. Actually, actually, I, I, I need to give credit where credit is due. Okay? I try to be fair on this channel. The National Guard 
they some of them are at the southern border and they are helping they're helping to let the immigrants in they're helping by cutting down chain link fences they're cutting down barbed wire and they're making it easy for these people to come right into our country and now we know some of them are straight up strapped up not only with guns but with straight up explosives explosives and you're warning border patrol agents be careful you got to look out for those immigrants with the explosives how about no how about we just shut this whole shit down how about that this is not sustainable we cannot keep pumping in this many people into our country every freaking day tons of people who are honestly they're not the best of people in the world and their way of life, their cultures, they don't blend with ours that well. You know, a lot of people seem to have problem with like a lot of like the Mexican people that come across the border, the Spanish people. Those aren't the people that we need to worry about. Spanish people, Latinos, Mexicans, South Americans, whatever they seem to blend in well with our culture here in america they come here they work hard i mean they don't bother many people they're good people what i'm worried about is these people from like the middle east people from these countries in africa who live in places that are very brutal whose ways of life are just totally different than us. They don't value life the same way we do. They're violent, they're extreme in their beliefs, and we're allowing them to come over here. And all of them have one thing in common. They want to be in America, but they absolutely hate America. And when they get here, they want to change America, to reshape it, to be more like the shit country that they just fled from. You have some people that come here that actually love America. They want to live an American life. They, they believe in the American dream, the American way. A lot of the Mexican people I know, they're the most patriotic people you will ever meet. Okay? But as far as all, all of these other people coming from all of these other countries, I'm not saying all of them are bad. I'm not saying all of their cultures are bad. But we are allowing a lot of people over here that have extreme beliefs. And like I said, they literally flee from countries because their countries have gone in the garbage. And then they want America to be more like their country. You came from garbage and then you come over here and you try to turn our country to garbage to make it reflect and look more like your society that you fled from. As if you didn't flee from there for a reason. But we can talk about this all day. At the end of the day, with the amount of threats and warnings that are coming in on a daily basis, the fact that they allow that southern border to not only be wide open, but they're allowing the cartels to control it, it should tell you everything you need to know. Because what it tells me is that, oh, you'll warn us that something's going to happen, but you're not going to lift a finger to prevent it. In fact, it seems like you want to have your cake and eat it too. You want these attacks to happen. But at the same time, you want to warn us so we can be scared. We can live our life in fear until the day comes that something does inevitably happen. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're feeling generous this holiday season, you could donate to the channel via Cash App or you could donate via Super Thanks. But with all of that being said, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all very soon in the next video.